What I like about travel is the chaos. It's to find myself in the middle of a new city or the middle of nowhere and feel that rush of not knowing where to go. So many options and so many places to see, but most of all is about the food. It's always about the food. In late May, I left my home for what I thought would be a month-long trip to Europe. I packed for a month with only my first week mapped out because allowing some space for spontaneity is very important. Allowing the wind to blow me in any direction it wants to. So I searched and followed the signs month after month, and not only that they kept me on the other side of the pond for that long, they sent me to France, Spain, Italy, Edora, Switzerland, and even Turkey. Let's just say that it's <laughs> been quite the adventure. So here we are, back in my kitchen after a much longer trip than expected. So I'm gonna try to recap my summer very quickly. And I had shot this long monologue about my crazy summer journey, but the video ended up being 10 minutes long and I just felt like it was probably too much for a quick recap. So to save you from one long rant about how invigorating discovering new food cultures, taking a bunch of notes, like a lot of food notes, chasing sunset and meeting new people was, I just want to concentrate on the main message of this vlog. This summer has confirmed my belief that the world is truly magic and that it actually never stopped being magic because we grew up and got fancy jobs. We create and manifest with each instant. And the key to all this is just curiosity and gratefulness. It's to show up every day in front of the unknown and stop fearing it and be excited about it. It's to look around for signs of the universe and follow them as they do in the movies. When you stay curious and remain flexible, suddenly everything becomes possible and no matter the outcome, it will lead to a breakthrough. So, I hope you do that. I hope you wake up tomorrow, you have a coffee or a tea or whatever you have in the morning, glass of water, Drink some water, it's something that I have to tell myself. Uh, so wake up in the morning tomorrow and, you know, like just try to see the world around you from a child perspective. Even if you've been in this apartment for like forever, even if you've been in the same city forever, there's always something to discover. And uh, if you stay curious and you remain grateful, who knows what will be unfolding. So yeah, that's it. That's my life update. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today's rent, and I hope you'll forgive me for only giving you a life update that isn't followed by a recipe. <laughs> I'm secretly hoping that today's insightful message will be enough to keep you guys busy until the next month, when we'll be back on full-blown cooking mode. Until then, I just want to thank you all for commenting on my videos. Please know that I read and appreciate all of them and it's been even more insightful to me to read your life stories when you're generous enough to share them. I wish you guys all the best. If you haven't done it already, consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell to know the next time I upload. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this and uh, I'll catch you in my next one. <laughs> Bye!